Hi guys, I decided I wanted to use a little silver candle holder, this one right here. I had gotten it at a Goodwill outlet haul. And these flowers I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, and I had a little silver bowl, it's plastic, so is the candlestick. And I think it's a candle holder, I'm not sure. Um, but I glued the pieces together and just simply put some dry oasis in it. And I would like to just quickly point out that the two silver pieces that I'm using, I did not get at the Dollar Tree, but they do have similar things there in the wedding section. So I just put the oasis, the dry oasis in, and the pieces that I cut off the corner, I kind of wedged in to uh, make it a little more secure because I wasn't gonna glue it in there. I don't know, I might wanna use it for something different later in time, so. I start by taking the tags off of the flowers, and the flowers that I got are azaleas and hydrangeas, both white. They've got a little bit of a pinky peach color mixed in there, but it's mostly white. And then I cut the stems off of the main branch. And I do save the main branches with a little bit of the greenery on it, and you'll see me use those just to kind of cover up that oasis. So at this point, I want to create four sides to this round vase that I've created. And I use the azalea pieces that are kind of draped looking so I, I go with that look and really pull them down to create a, a draped look over the edges and once I get my four sides down then I can really start to go with what shape I want so at that point I use a hydrangea right in the center at the top and that gives me my height that I can go off of from there so now that I've created my basic shape, my outline, then I can start following that outline. And uh, from that top hydrangea, I kind of want to make it round, pulling it in a little tighter down the sides and kind of blending into the pieces that are, are draping over the edges. And you can see that I'm using the cut branches where I've cut the, the stems off, but they've got a little greenery there. And I, I do put those in just to fill in that oasis. I don't really want to see it. So I just, I just start building and I want to fill in. I'm, you'll see me spinning it a lot. And that's because I want to, I want to see all the sides and I want to make sure that there's no, no place uh, if this is at my centerpiece on my table, whatever angle someone's sitting at, I don't want them to be able to look through there and it not be a pretty full centerpiece. Also, because I'm using a couple of different flowers, I want to make sure that they're spread equally throughout the arrangement and uh, make sure that there's not a big clump of hydrangeas together and then azaleas on the other side. I want them to be equally spread out and I did have a couple of white roses that I just had here at my house and I did add a couple of those just for another another type of flower instead of going back to the Dollar Tree and getting more because it wasn't quite as full as I wanted. And like I said, you'll see me spinning it a lot. It's because I want to find that equal balance of to make sure everything's full and kind of equally. I want it to have a uniform shape all around it as well. So to achieve that, um, as I'm turning it, as I'm adding more flowers, I will pull and shape and arrange the ones that are in there. Don't be afraid to bend its wire inside that stem. So don't be afraid to bend it and move it where you want it. You can push it in and, and pull it out or pull it down, whichever direction you feel like that it needs to go to get it exactly where you want it. So here it is finished and ready to go on my silver tablescape and I'm really happy with it. I, I'm, I'm very happy that 
it, it achieved the look that I wanted. So anyway, I hope you guys liked it and I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.